Hello everybody and welcome back to the workshop build slash renovation series. In this video, we're gonna continue work on the floor, make it nice and clean, and pay a bit of attention to the mezzanine floor because it's a little bit dodgy at the moment. So let's get going. So yesterday I came in for a few hours to get a few jobs done here and there, but I didn't bother filming it because they're pretty boring, but let me get you updated on what I did. So this wall here, originally it was this kind of condition. So I just gave that a quick lick of fresh paint. We still need to do the windowsill and all that because I've got my stuff stored on there at the moment, but it's looking nice and bright. Might do another coat just to make sure it's as clean as possible. I also went up the side here. You can see that I didn't quite finish the uh, edge or anything, but that's got a new fresh lick of paint. We also got rid of the worktop thing that was here because it gave me better access to the wall. The only issue is it makes this support here a little bit dodgy because uh, it's not fixed to the ground. So you can kick that from side to side. So I'm probably going to find a way of strengthening that. Also up the top here, we've got this long beam here, which is running all the way along, which goes all the way to there. Of course, it's only nailed in, so it's not the uh, strongest of connections there. But what I'm gonna do, because it's only nailed in here, it only takes this to fall forward, and then that whole support comes down. So I've got this bit of wood here, which we're gonna butt up against this column here, going up and supporting this one from underneath here to give it a bit of extra uh, support from underneath. I also got rid of some of these supports on this back wall here. You can see that I just sawed them off at about three meters above the floor, so you'll never really see them. So that wall's nice and bare. Not entirely sure if I want to OSB it yet with chipboard or if I'm just gonna paint it white. To be honest, I think I might just paint it white. I think that would look a lot nicer and add a bit more light in here. I also finished off the mezzanine floor. So we got slats going all the way through to the door now. Let me just brighten up this camera a bit. So that's nice and supported. And then I put this beam here going directly down to the floor as well so that it gives this cross brace some support from underneath which then gives this one some support from underneath as well. So now what I want to do is fix in these upright battens here because they're not obviously fixed to the wall. So we'll get two screws in here fixing it to the wall and then another couple of screws at the top there and the same on this one as well. That will help resist any skewing or racking action of the mezzanine floor and really lock it into the wall. The other thing I need to do is make sure that these are perfect spacing in order to fit my OSB sheets up against it once I get my backdrop in place. So let's start with that. There we go, now we've got one, two, three, four uprights that I can screw the OSB straight onto to give it some nice support from behind. They're all measured to be the exact width of one sheet, which is 1,220 millimeters. I've also added a support to the mezzanine floor, so that is feeling nice and rigid now. It's not gonna move anywhere. So what we're waiting for now is a lance, which we're gonna to use to heat up all the bitumen on the floor and then scrape off what's left afterwards. So in the meantime, quick tidy up, and I'm also going to paint the windowsill before I forget. I'm gonna have a go at pressure washing the floors to get out all of that ingrained dirt and stuff that's in there and also allow me to see where the remains of this bitumen is that I still haven't managed to get out. Damn. 
just nicked a Jubilee clip off some random rusty machine out in the yard, hopefully. This will make it a nice snug fit on there. Really surprised that popped off. I've got that hose on there so tight as it is. So I see a lot of pressure in these things. Well, I finally managed to get the Jubilee clip attached, but it's just not, it's not giving out as much power as I thought it would, to be honest. And I've got everything on maximum, of course, but it's just not, oh well, we're getting something out of it. So the lance hasn't arrived today, so um, I'm just going to focus on cleaning this entrance bit because I've got the floor somewhat clean now with the pressure washer, but there's no point in getting that clean if I'm just going to keep treading in dirt. So we're going to sort this out now. now. I don't even know what this thing is. What I do know is it looks rather rusty. Now it works. Oh. oh, okay, maybe not. Wait, so what did I do? That. Oh, power. And that, kids, is why you read the instructions, because then you save yourself a lot of time. Right, the time has come. It's time to paint the floor. So second coat is on here, now dry, so I can get the third coat on tomorrow. It's still looking a little bit patchy. Might take a few more than that because it's quite a coarse texture. Anyway, we'll address that later. I've also been filling in a few cracks and voids in the floor that are going to annoy me once the paint's on there. So those are all hardened now, and yeah, it's time to get going with this. Looks like my floor's made of blue tack, doesn't it? So that's it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it so far. We've got plenty more to get done in the next few episodes, but it is looking nice and clean and oh, the end is in sight. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.